new huge chef cat in 24 hours or quit playing Pet Simulator X? That's today's challenge. Can we do it? <laughs> That's a big maybe. The huge chef cat was just released in the game as the first guaranteed free huge pet. I honestly never thought I'd see the day. Welcome to my restaurant. Another game by the Big Game Studios. It was recently updated and introduced an event where if you get 100,000 customers in your restaurant, you get awarded a free huge chef cat. An easy task for some who've uh, played the game before. Yeah, that's right. I have 24 hours to get 100,000 people in my restaurant and I have never set foot in the game before. Oh God, it might be time to panic. The time starts now. I don't even know the first thing about running a restaurant business other than they make food and I eat food. I do, however, have a famous chef for an uncle. So I reached out to him and asked, how do you run a successful restaurant business? Uh, his response, make good food. So, uh, hey, uh, Preston, what's up, bro? He's like, hey, welcome to my restaurant. I thought this was my restaurant. It's already confusing. You have a customer. Give them a seat by interacting with them. Preston, I don't have any food. I have a customer. I'll interact with them. <clears throat> Hi! I'm not... Sure, she just went and sat down and... Oh, okay. Well, she looked at a me. I didn't even know we had a menu, bro. Okay, she's order. I gotta take her order. Okay, let's see. She wants the pizza. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Pizza sounds real good right now. What a good decision. See, this is why I never would be good at a restaurant. I would literally just eat all the food all the time. I didn't find a chef who can do this. Here, lady, take your pizza. And thus started the long journey of getting 100,000 customers. Preston showed me where to spend all my Robux. I danced on the table for tips, hired a cook, and then watched Preston fade away into the abyss. Okay, now I'm questioning if Preston was even really here. Oh, we got more. Okay. <laughs> Hello, fellow Na Oh my god, now we got three. Okay. Welcome to my restaurant. What do you want? What do you want? You want pizza? You want a burger? Okay, and you want a sandwich. Pizza, burger, sandwich. All that. You got that. Wait, I got it? No. Why do I still have to cook? That's what he's there for. Oh god. Twelve seconds later. Listen, I can explain. Here, take your hot chocolate. Jeez. This is fine. How come I'm cooking faster than you, bro? Why you suck so bad at this? I paid you, and I got done just as quickly as you did. Who wanted the pizza? I forgot. You wanted the pizza. Okay, okay. I'm glad it tells you, because, like, I don't remember all these orders, man. I, I I get that's, like, a waiter's job, but, dude, I'm so confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. What's up, man? What's up? You want the spaghetti? I got your spaghetti. I love how there's a little bar down here at the bottom that says six out of 100,000. Just to remind me, I've got a long way to go. And thus started the mindless process of seating people, taking orders, cooking, serving and cleaning up. I'm starting to think this chef cat isn't even worth the trouble anymore. All right, yeah, go sit down, go sit down, go sit down. Welcome to my restaurant. I'll be with you in a minute. As soon as I figure out how to get this stupid plate off my hand, no matter what I do, I can't get it out of my hands. A burger? All right, I'll, I'll get that for you. A sandwich? Man, that's kind of lame. Why, why would you come to a restaurant? I just want you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. Fine, take it. Whoa, this is hard work, man. We, we should be pretty close to 100,000 now. <laughs> oh, God, we're only in 19. This sucks. All right, what's the, what's the bottleneck here, man? Because, like, I need, I need to have something where I can wash dishes, but not me be the dishwasher. Because I, I, I don't really do a good job. I should hire more people. I've got $500. That's enough to hire somebody. Why is David only worth 100 and Jennifer's worth 450 There we go. I just hired both of them. David, quit standing around. Do something. Mop the floor. Wash some dishes. Get this stupid plate out of my hand. <laughs> they take the money. They're good at that. You're going to be pocketing any, David. I'm watching you. Does he seat them? <gasps> he does. Oh my god, it's self-sufficient. I don't have to do anything anymore. Look at that, we 25 in. I've now made another 100 bucks. Yeah, man, this thing's actually a pretty well oiled machine. I'm actually gonna go leave and go do something I've always wanted to do. Wait, wait, wait! I'm back. Yo, how are things going in here? David, why are you just standing here doing nothing? There's people over there. Go take their order. That's not good help. It's so hard to find these days. All right. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing? We've made $5,200. I was gone for so long. David, you've been pocketing money, haven't you? Yo, how many customers we got? 46. Dude, I've been gone literally hours, and this is all you've done? Oh, boy. We got our... We're going to be a long grind. All right. I'll tell you what. We got enough to actually open up a second floor. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Wait, how do, how do you get to the second floor? Where's the stairs? Are you telling me we got to teleport? Oh my God. What's up here? There's nothing up here. What was the point of buying that much? Well, I've got $729. That should be enough to at least hire a new cook. That way we got two cooks now. Yeah, yeah. Go, Christina. You got this. So now it's even more of a oiled machine. But uh, seeing 48 down there, that sucks. Knowing that at this rate, I would never complete the challenge, let alone in 24 hours. I knew it was time to take things more seriously. And so 
I headed to the shop and uh, took out a small business loan to buy some upgraded equipment, tables, and chairs. Good God, the top player worldwide has 204 million customers served. Yeah, that's a lot better than my 78. But we about to change that. All you poor people, the restaurant is closed. Goodbye, gamers. Dude, let's build a nice new restaurant here. First, we're gonna use a little bit of imagination. Transform this place. <sighs> Man, the power of imagination and a lot of Robux. Dude, look at me, man. Oh my God, I got so many people in here. It says I've only served 108 people though. What the heck? There's like 100 people in here right now. And everybody says they're ready to order, including Mr. VIP guy here. But like nobody's taking... Oh my God, David. I need to hire more people. I need better help. Staff. By you, by you, by you, by you, by you. All right, I now have eight waiters and five cooks. But I've got like only four stoves. Oh, but it goes super fast. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Now people are coming in and out. It's going up. So we got the money tree over here, which looks like it's time to collect. They say money don't grow on trees. They never had a money tree. There's a dessert bar. Got the tip jar. Oh, yeah, dude. It's busting up in here, man. This is the first floor of my very fancy restaurant. Now it's time for the second. Then I spent the next two hours decorating a few floors, trying to maximize both style and efficiency, something that I would soon find out to be a huge mistake. For now, though, I was proud of what I accomplished. And there we have it. I've now reached my first 1,000 customers served. I just got to do that 99 more times. <laughs> One thing I do want to do, though, I want to change the outside of my shop. It just looks weird. So if we go over here, I can buy a modern theme. We can do a pirate theme, a castle theme, penthouse theme, or an alien. You know what? I'm going to do the future theme. Dud. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's all I had to do. Oh, this looks so nice. So, yeah, this is a pretty well oiled machine. I think I'm going to go do that owner thing that a lot of owners do and then just go sleep and let the restaurant kind of run itself. We'll check it back in the morning. The next morning. Good morning, gamers. Yo, it's the next morning. I walked in and I looked down at my customer list and I'm now at 36 thousand and we are well on our way i could just sit here and just let it run all day long it literally in like a day and a half of doing this i would have the chef cat the problem with that is uh i'm trying to do this in like 24 hours and uh this number ain't gonna cut it we we going but we ain't going fast enough and i know you're like me who's was very impatient as much things that we've got going on if we go all the way up to floor number seven you guys are gonna die i call this the uh customer maximization part but yeah this is like literally every spot filled either with a table or a chair at some point, I even posted a link on Twitter. I had this whole area filled up and then I hid in it and like made people try to find me. I'm right there, by the way. But yeah, as fast as this is going, I'm leaving tables empty. We go down to the floor before having just a whole section of people not filling up my area. Despite me having boosts of the rush hour, almost every floor I go to has just like all these empty chairs and stuff. And it's just not fast enough. So we need a faster way. And that's when I dove headfirst into researching and found out that I was doing everything all wrong. It didn't matter how much Robux I threw at the game. To really maximize the amount of customers coming in, you really only needed a few key things. First off, you need to recognize that placing tables near doors and teleporters means customers don't have to spend time walking to and from their table. Also, use filler items to keep customers from wandering around too much. Once you have the seating arrangements down, you can start placing a few key specialty items, such as salad bars for extra cash, really fast dishwashers, stoves, and probably one of the most overlooked items, the silverware tray. Adding these on every floor gives your customer a 20% chance to eat with them and eat faster. And if you can afford a gold one, everyone will eat with those and you'll be getting customers in and out as quickly as possible. I also took a floor and made it just the kitchen and overloaded it with dishwashers and stoves. Once you have all the staff, you'll definitely need all the appliances you can get. Also, if you can afford it, the coffee machine gives your staff an extra kick and they also move around faster. Once I implemented all of these strategies, I really started seeing things change and finally saw a glimmer of hope to complete this challenge. All right, it's been exactly two hours and I am now at 51,000, man. We are blowing past everything now. It's actually really funny because I actually started this way later than a lot of other people. My friend Nick, who's been grinding this pretty much since the beginning, and uh, I, he, listened, he asked me how far away I was, and I told him I just passed 51,000, and he's like, stay away, because now he's at 59. If you want to spend your money on something, definitely go for this 
strat, like filling up the tables. Like you don't have to do like the fancy tables or anything like that. Only reason I got the VIP people here is because I'm trying to get a lot of money a lot quicker. But if you're trying to get customers in and out really quickly, it's definitely paying off to have the silverware there, especially the gold if you can get it. But I understand they cost Robux, but even just the regular silverware is where it's at. But yeah, dude, we're rolling now. We're almost already to 52,000. It's been about another hour and we're up to 68,000. And um, I already knew this was gonna happen, but my friend LCLC actually uploaded his version of trying to get the huge chef cat. And for those that didn't know, yeah, LCLC used to do a lot of videos on my restaurant. So he is definitely a pro. Number 41 on the worldwide leaderboard. He goes through and he actually says he got his grinding strap from the number one person in the world, blah, blah, blah. This is the point where I was when that video came out. So I know a lot of people are gonna be like, why didn't you just use LCL Street? strat blah 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 i because i've already started this is my own strat and i arguably will say it's better while lclc did say like using the plants and stuff keep the customers from like running around and my layout's just a little bit different i think my layout's a little bit better from one thing only that's the uh the golden silverware platters now the only downside that i do see with this layout and one i didn't really think about that i will take from lclc's video uh we come to all of my levels here and as you can see i do kind of have a similar layout Layout, and I do like his layout. The only difference is all of mine are single tables, whereas his are all double tables. And I'll admit, I'm a noob at the game. I didn't even know that it would do this. But as you see, whenever I people walk in, everybody walks in two at a time, minus the VIP people, because all of my VIP tables are four. So if I want to get four people in at a time, I have to get rid of every single one of my single seating tables. So all of these tables here that just seat one on each side, yeah, they gotta go. I gotta replace them. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now, as far as the tables go, there are a few options. The cheapest one is the tiki table and will definitely do the job. I actually prefer to go ahead and do the gingerbread tables because they attract elf customers to your restaurant. And why that's important is because, well, those elf guys, they're really fast. They move faster, they eat faster, and the faster they move, the faster they get out of here. So I'm going to buy a whole bunch of them and replace all of these tables with that. All right, every level has been replaced with long tables. Let's see if that helped us. Oh yeah, every time somebody's coming in, it's four at a time. Every single time, it's four. Where are you two going? Okay, almost every single one is four in at a time. We're definitely gonna start seeing more growth. Look how fast this is going. This is real time. I'm not speeding this up. It's just like 7, 14, 15, 16, 17. Like I can't even count as fast as this is going up now. Yeah, so definitely do the double tables with some chairs. It'd be great if you could do the gingerbread tables with the gingerbread chairs because then you get a whole bunch of elves. And just look, watch this elf. Watch, there's gonna be an elf that'll come in here in a minute because they spawn like crazy now. You'll see the little guys just run. And when they do, man they just pass all the other customers <laughs> it's running so fast they drop little presents along the way and you can get more cash i haven't even unlocked the last floor yet i don't need to if you end up doing multiple floors when you teleport to the next floor make sure all of your tables are really close together to the teleportation area and dude you will fly <laughs> it's been three minutes i've already gained like a thousand customers now just keep in mind i also have the uh rush hour happy boost going on so it probably won't be as fast but uh yeah i have a video to make i gotta edit this thing and put it out so everybody can see it before the event ends which is why i have to go a little bit faster using robux than what your normal method would be but yeah dude this is the strat so uh, i don't have to wait long but i'm gonna let the rest of this run out and we're gonna get that huge cat baby One hundred thousand customers. We have finally done it. And what time did it take? Will I be quitting Pit Simulator X? And uh, no, dude. That new strat with using the double tables and uh, just everything else that I did all in one really, really pushed us towards the end. And we got finished in fifteen hours and forty-three minutes. So yeah, dude, that's it, man. I'm closing up the restaurant. This area looks like dog water, and I just don't want to use it. <laughs> We're gonna clear every. <laughs> single floor. I don't want to look at all of my awful stuff anymore. You're not welcome. Look at all the elves. Just look how fast they're still going, man. I gotta see. Were the elves the most things I serve? So everybody's like in the 5900s, 5800s. The elves are at 15,000. Oh my god. Alright guys, you've done great. Enjoy your day off. The next My Restaurant update, I'm gonna be back and we're gonna be making this place look a lot cooler. For now though, we gotta do the one thing that we have been trying to grind for. And that my friends is to get the new huge chef cat there he is 
business. Oh my gosh, dude. I have ran a successful restaurant business. My uncle would be proud. I will name him after my uncle. Uncle. That's what I call my uncle. What do you call your uncle? The first free huge. I wonder how many people are going to end up doing it. Where is it going to be on the spectrum? Oh. Are you telling me all I had to do is just check my mailbox? It's one right here. I've now got two. <laughs> well, I guess I'm now an overachiever. Oh, also, as I'm ending this video, David, the main developer of my restaurant, said, after 50,000 huge chef cats have been awarded, the event will be removed from my restaurant. Currently, about 7,000 have been awarded. Be sure to get it as fast as possible. Happy cooking and good luck. So, yeah, hopefully this video helps. Good luck, gamers.